so we just rolled up at the tractor supply and uh i'm gonna show you guys a little secret that i found that makes some of the best targets or backstops or whatever you want to call it for archery these bad boys right here the straw bales they're great just left uh tractor supply ah, we're loaded down i got cardboard for the target faces right, i'm gonna show you guys how to do them now these bales aren't but like 11 dollars a piece 11 12 and they're they're pretty tightly banded together and I've, I've done this already before um and i i mean it, it's taken thousands of shots so we'll go uh, to the house and get these things together and i'll show you how i keep them tight and everything and and for the price it's really good so let's get to the house and work on these things all right so we just got to uh to the house here and this is where we're gonna set up our target set and uh should be pretty good we can get all kind of distances out here and if this works the way i plan then i'm gonna set multiple targets up out here and do like a field range so let's get these bales out and uh I'll show you guys how I prep all this stuff and get it ready. Well, I was hoping that I bought long enough straps, but of course I didn't, so I gotta put two together. So these bales here, they come already compressed and they're wrapped in plastic so it helps with the weather and stuff you know the rain and whatnot but you typically don't want to leave these outside but i have and it's completely fine and the main reason why i want to bail these tighter it just helps with stopping your arrows and it helps to keep any arrows from coming through the cracks right there which i haven't really had happen but once or twice maybe See, we'll tighten up on this bale. I might have to put me some sort of backstop to keep it from falling off my stand here, but that'll be okay. Nice. Well, that's what they look like. Now, will these stop an arrow? This is a different brand than what I normally use, but um, we'll see what it'll do. Let's get a target face made up and uh, see if it'll stop them. Let's test it out. All right, so we're here at 20 yards on a five spot target. And uh, let's just see if these bales will stop it. Now, the other bales that I've used in the past did. These are slightly different, but they should work. This is my first shot of the day, so I might miss. First time I've shot in about two weeks. Hopefully not. Stopped it dead in its tracks. I kind of pulled on that shot too. That's 20 yard. Got a five spot. Pretty much a warm up shot there. I'm shooting the knock on silverbacks. So if you got. All right, so the bow that I'm shooting is a 70 pound bow at 29 and a half inch draw. The arrows are Black Eagle Rampages, and I believe the arrow weight is 475, and the feet per second is right about um, 175, I think it was, on the chronograph, but it stops them great.
Boy, I pulled the piss out of that one. That'd have been a deer I'd have just missed. I've been working out so my muscles and everything are a lot stronger so I can hold tighter on the back wall so I'm having to tighten up my release because I'm holding more back well I hold more pressure back on it Oh yeah, guys, she works great. Well, you guys are watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. Hopefully this will help somebody out. Like I said, I got these bales at Tractor Supply. They were $11. Got a ratchet strap just to hold everything together nice and tight. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help somebody out. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless.